So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Lava, which is apparently GPT-4 like multi-modal model that combines vision encoder. Basically, it effectively helps you look at an image and get responses similar to the GPT-4 vision API or GPT-4 vision in general. You can see it kind of supports resolutions of images that are mentioned here. And then it has better visual reasoning and OCR capability, better visual conversation and better world knowledge for logical reasoning. So it's similar to the GPT-4 vision, but it's open source, which is great. Now, in order to install this locally, we're going to be using Lava here. Now note that initially when we started learning about Lama, uh, we did not have the installer here for Windows, but now I think they've launched the first preview for Windows as well, which is great because you can download here for Windows or Mac. And then you can see on the top here, it kind of runs in your system and then can, you know, actually run any open source model locally in your system. So in order to download any model, just go to models here on the top right and you will see a bunch of options here, right? So there are all, all the latest models, including Gemma, which very recently went live. So we, we're interested in Lava right now and we will be clicking on Lava and then there is the run instruction here, which is Olama run Lava. Now all you need to do is copy this once this is installed and go to your terminal. Now in the terminal, you need to put the command here, Olama run Lava, and this will start downloading the model for you. Now you can see it's already downloaded like 21% for me and it's running at 4.5.3 Mbps, which is great. And in a couple of minutes, this will be done downloading and post that I'll show you how it works. But regardless, like while it's being downloaded, how it works is there are two ways to do, use this, right? First, you can use it in terminal where you can, just like you would do on chat GPT, you would say, what is in this image? And then you would put the URL of the image. And then there is the API based model here which is effectively ways in which you can use it via API, uh, by using tools like Postman, so right? You can use curl, HTTP, localhost, 11434, which is where the model is running. And then you can use the endpoint API slash generate, which is where your image analysis model is specifically running on that link, right? So the model name is Lava, prompt is what is in this picture. And then you have to put in the images. Now I'm assuming because it says images, it can, you know, run more than one image, which is good because you can add in bulk or if you want to combine more than one images, you can still get some analysis with respect to what is in those set of images. There's also a website, you know, Lava website here, which is effectively large language and vision assistant. And then you can also read through the paper if you're interested with respect to how the model is trained, the technicalities of the model. Based on what I, you know, I know this is one of the best open source models when it comes to the vision capabilities, similar to what you would see in GPT-4, but which is kind of paid right now. So this is like a great alternative for the open source community itself. You can see there are certain benchmarks here, GPT-3.5, and then there is Lava here. There is also the Lava plus GPT-4 complement that is mentioned here. Let me just, you know, get the installation done and then post that we can actually run this locally and see how the results are. So I've installed it locally now and I'm going to be using this first image, which is a clone that I created using Face Fusion AI, which kind of swapped my face with Dwight here. I'll add the link to the video either here or here. You can go ahead and take a look at how it's done. Uh, so this is the face and I'm, I'm going to feed that and I'm actually already fed it in the model and you can see this is the response, right? So I use the link here, which is the name of the image and I'll, I'll simply ask question, what is this image about? And you can see this image shows a humorous meme featuring an edited video of actor Steve Carell, known for his role as Michael Scott, which is not true, but it is from The Office. And this particular meme is depicted saying that love is all you need, false water rations and which plays on the idea of love alone is insufficient to sustain one. So again, it got the character wrong, but it got the theme correct. And I'm gonna feed another image now, which is an AI avatar that I generated. Now note that if you want to copy certain things from or paths to those images from your desktop, you need to right click on the image on Mac and then click on copy whatever image you select as path. Right, that way you will be able to select images as path and even you, you can paste them here now, right? So what is this, what is this image about? Now this is a different image and okay, so it looks like it will not support WebP images. 
let me see if i can change the order of uh, this and this image so it seems it works uh, you know sometimes you just have to change the order here appears to be a screenshot of social media post that features the name with an overlay text is it the same image uh, weirdly i fed the same image again let me copy this one again and this time correctly copy this as part name and so apparently it seems it's not able to read web p let me see if i can get this image correct which is basically an image with coffee in the background and see if it's able to get that right i have a couple of images in the background as you see here and i'm going to feed those here as well right so i fed the image it seems that it's reading and it was correctly able to identify the image features a neon sign that says coffee in the indoor setting so work fine let me try on this one right click option copy this and then paste it here what is this image about and i'm going to paste it here again sometimes you need to give access to certain areas in order for the terminal to get those images which is fine because it will kind of use it to read the images per se right so the access will be necessary sometimes to read the images per se you can see the image shows a man standing in front of a waterfall smiling at camera he is wearing glasses and a dark jacket with a red lining on his right side there is an overlay text that says oh, okay this is getting the same so it's kind of retaining the context and it's showing that context throughout the image what we need is this but then it's also kind of adding this old knowledge about the image which we don't need and if there is a way to reset it i'd definitely look for it let's try this one thumbnail for the face fusion video that i had created and see if we get correct info now so the image is successfully added and it's reading through the image what i love about this is it works very very fast and it's very very accurate right now i know that if i feed this in gpt4 it's going to identify this as rob which is effectively the actor behind dwight from the office but in this scenario it's kind of identifying it as steve carell for some reason and it's fine like i know this is not uh, the purpose of this vision is not to identify actors per se by their faces some kind of authenticity to the image per se now note that the reason why it may be identifying this as steve carell is because you know i fused the face of dwight with my own face and this looks different than dwight while everything else is same the face kind of looks different than the one with the dread which is exactly why it may be identifying it as wrong face but i would still say that this is not too bad let me try one more before we close this i'm going to try this si image i'm going to copy the path name and then i'm going to paste it here what is this image about so it does work for png jpgs and some scenarios web pages as well but web p will obviously result in fail sometimes but it's true that web p will not always work sometimes because it's newer convention of image and maybe the model does not support it yet so i fed this and it says the office again so it's not about office per se you know quickly stop the model so in order to stop the model i think it's control c or yeah you can type by here and then let's run this again and this time feed the image again what is this image about so you can notice that it kind of gets inspired by what it knows in the chat and then gives you similar response but if you are able to restart the model it is going to give you a response that is fresh and does not seem similar to the output that it has previously given to us and it gives fresh output versus what it had given previously before so if you feel that it's kind of taking some previous information and giving you the same knowledge feel free to restart the model and this will ensure that you get like fresher information and not inspired by previous post per se that's going to be all for this video again to stop the model just say bye and it will stop olama there is also a command that you can use in order to remove these model i think it should be you should be able to find it here i don't have it handy but if you have any questions feel free to let me know it's a super simple model to run and a great alternative to gpt4 version locally 
You can also run it via API, by the way. So if you know how to use Postman locally, you can set it up like this and you can run this using API calls. But I find the terminal method very relatively easier because there's just one command that you need to run and then it's more like chat, just like you have on GPT-4 or GPT-4 vision or any chatbot per se. So really cool. If you guys have questions, let me know. Thank you so much.